Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you to the new AquaJet 144. The heart of the unit is an HDP 140 high pressure pump with a maximum drive power of 140 kilowatts, which equals 190 horsepower, installed here in the ultra high pressure version. In the UHP version, two different plunger diameters are available. With a 20 millimeter plunger, you can reach 2800 bar, or 40 k psi, and a 17.5 millimeter plunger will give you 3200 bar, or 46 k psi. The AquaJet 144 is a multifunctional high pressure unit that provides sufficient power for blasting gun operation as well as for partially automated or robot operation. The high pressure pump is driven by a smooth running 6 cylinder Deutz diesel engine with 160 kilowatt which is approximately 20 kilowatt or 15% more than the pump requires. Here's the air tank of the built-in compressed air system. The compressed air system is required for the pneumatic bypass control system and is a standard feature. The bypass valve, which can be seen here, is used to switch the system from pressureless circulation mode to high pressure mode or back again. This is done via an electrical signal that is connected to this socket right here. The signal comes from the spray gun or a key switch and tells the control high pressure on or off. Above that, there is an optional connection for an external emergency stop switch. Here an additional emergency stop switch can be connected and moved directly to the workplace. The main battery switch is located here below. The hood is equipped with LED interior lighting. Here's the ES4 control unit. It has a 10 inch touchscreen and an additional external keypad suitable for construction sites, which allows access to the main functions. This additional keyboard enables the main functions to be operated even when wearing gloves. The user interface of the ES4 has been redesigned. More graphic elements are used, the operation has become more intuitive, and access to operating parameters, language settings, or the user menu is set via the touchscreen as before. An aluminum storage box is optionally available in which accessories, protective equipment, blasting guns and cables can be stowed. Here on the frame, you can see the optional lifting lugs, in case you need to position or move the unit by crane. Another optional feature is the practical vise, which can be folded out. Now let's go a little further down. The exhaust treatment, consisting of a particle filter and an SCR cat, is installed with maximum ground clearance as high as possible to avoid damage when maneuvering. The sound damped hood has also been revised. The sound damped hood has also been revised. 
The cooling airflow has been optimized to enable reliable operation with maximum pressure or maximum output, even at extreme outside temperatures of above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. The soundproof hood itself consists of rigid foam panels which show excellent soundproofing properties. Additional foam rubber inside is no longer necessary. The hood itself has a height of 2 meters, 6 foot 6, which also allows it to be completely open in park decks, for example. This is where the 100 liter, 26.4 gallon buffer tank is located. The water runs into the tank from the outside. And the water flow is regulated by a float valve. The buffer tank also serves to ensure that no water is wasted in pressureless circulation mode. So the water flows from the UHP via the bypass valve back into the buffer tank. And secondary flows like from the oil cooler or plunger cooling are collected and returned to the tank while the system is in operation. This is called dry pump design. No water is wasted or goes to the ground. The water flows from the buffer tank into the booster pump. The booster pump is a robust industrial version driven by the diesel engine via a V-belt. Pump housing is made of corrosion-resistant bronze. The booster pump moves the water through the hose to a filter and into the high-pressure pump. The filter itself is also an industrial version. It has a large filter area of approximately 1600 square centimeters or 248 square inches. It is made of stainless steel with a bronze lid. The filter can be changed in minutes without any special tools. Some sensors are attached to the filter itself, which are used to monitor the high pressure pump. In this case, they're pressure sensors. One measures the pressure before and one after the filter, which means that the condition of the filter or the degree of contamination of the filter can be monitored. There are a few other sensors. For example, a level sensor that switches off the system if the level falls below minimum. Here at the very back is the AdBlue tank, which is required for EU Stage 5 engines. Easy to fill, easily accessible. Here in the middle is the filler neck of the fuel tank. The fuel tank is located between the axes and has a volume of approximately 240 liters, which equals a little over 63 gallons. Here in the front, you can see the optional frost protection system. Winter operation of a high pressure pump is always a challenge. To ease the task, we offer the frost protection system. By means of a membrane pump, the water carrying parts of the high pressure pump can be filled with antifreeze. And the antifreeze can be pumped back into the storage tank the next morning using the same membrane pump.